Well, it is time for Mayor Monday as we get a new week started. We're going to talk about the Couve this week, uh, taking, taking us over to the other side of the Columbia this morning. The city of Vancouver has been at the center of an important issue for commuters for decades now, the replacement of the I-5 bridge. Yeah, that's a big deal for uh, Vancouver and for Portland. Uh -huh. You know, there's been a renewed push to replace the busy crossing over the Columbia River following President Biden's visit last week to the Northwest. And joining us live this morning to tell us about the work she believes needs to be done on this is Vancouver Mayor Ann McInerney Ogle. Good morning, Mayor. Good morning, Ken. Good morning, Emily. We're so excited. This is a great opportunity, as you said, Ken, for both sides of the river. Yes, uh, just last week, the executive steering group for the Interstate Bridge Replacement Project heard the recommended transit approach for a future bridge. Uh, what is this approach and, and what do you think about it? Well, as we're looking at it, we're pretty excited that the bridge program has made some decisions in looking forward and that direction for transit is the most exciting part of it, bringing light rail over and stopping get off the bridge and stop it in downtown Vancouver supports a number of our goals and plans. As you know, we're growing in leaps and bounds over here. And that just gives us another option in our toolbox that integrates with all of our existing bus rapid transit systems. And it just makes a wonderful steps toward our goals for climate and equity. As we're looking at it, we'll have three bus rapid transit systems, two parallel going east and west and one going north. And that will be the opportunity for those options to wed together in downtown Vancouver. It's a great complement to what we have, but it's an entire system, Ken. It is not just light rail into downtown Vancouver, but it's all of the BRTs and our express buses. So combining all of that with our, again, with our local buses is a beautiful marriage, if you would, for all of the options that our riders can use to determine wherever they want to go. So the bridge is a number of different decisions, but we're pretty excited about this first one. Yeah, well, it's it's become such a focal point, especially in, in, in recent years, talking about this this revamp of the bridge. Now, President Biden, when he was here last week, um, stuck to airports mostly, did not mention the <laughs> I-5 bridge in his speech. When he was talking about infrastructure, he was very much focused on, on runways and PDX and all of that. So curious what your reaction was to that. I know a lot of local leaders were hoping he would address the bridge. And we would have loved to have him over. We, we would have taken him to the top of the bridge and let him grease the cables and everything else. We were a little surprised, but I understand he has a laser focus on a few things. I was happy to hear Blumenauer and DeFazio talk about that replacement bridge because they know how very important it is to the entire region, not just for transportation, but for the economy. And so we know that moving this forward in little baby steps, keeping this focus will help us in a number of different ways. But it's okay, the governor and both governors and the president know that we're working hard on it. Yeah, about 10 years ago, we went through this uh, process. We went through the beginning of the process with the Columbia right. River Crossing project. Uh, that ended up getting derailed, uh, no pun intended. But you know, <laughs> one of the big issues was tolling on a new bridge. Now, has that concern in Clark County gone away? Because I know that was a big deal back then. The Vancouver City Council has supported tolling on the bridge for decades, Ken. Uh, there are two different kinds of tolling. It, uh, the tolling for the bridge will be different than your congestion pricing tolling, two different systems. But Vancouver has supported tolling. We know it's one leg of that three-part tolling package. Federal government, the two states, and tolling. It's a user fee. And it's no different than what we had when we started this bridge over 100 years ago. So we're ready for it. We'll, we'll work with it. And the two states actually have worked together. We have tolling, as you know, on bridges up the Columbia River. So this isn't new to us. So what, what are the next steps now, Mayor? We, we heard from the executive steering group last week, uh, some, some plans. When are some actual decisions going to hopefully be solidified? 
they're working on it today. In fact, when I'm done with you, we go into a five hour meeting today to start laying that groundwork. But the first part of May, we're going to start making some decisions here at Vancouver City Council with our resolution, and then take that to our two subgroups, our CTRAN Board of Directors and our Regional Transportation Council. Then we'll bring all of that back to the Executive Steering Group. The same process happens on your side of the river. So by the middle of May, we'll have given the permission for the IBR to go down a certain path. We'll let them know if they're on the right direction. And then things really start happening because we need to get in the line for those five funding packages at the federal level this summer. So we should start seeing major decisions on the front headlines of all the newspapers and on your news probably in June and ready to rock and roll by August with funding. All right. Well, that sounds uh, that sounds great. I know how much you enjoy five hour meetings, so we'll let you get to that. <laughs> yeah, we'll um, let you go get a fresh Vancouver cup of coffee. Cooper Mayor Ann McInerney Ogle, thanks for your time this morning. Great. Thank you so much. You're ready to go. Yeah. And for everything you need to know about the Interstate Bridge replacement plans, check it out now on coin.com.